Riding on the wave of recent success in clashes and attacks, Yemen's Answer Allah took the chance to organize a military exhibition. On March 11th, the Houthis showcased locally made weapon systems, including missiles and drones. Many Yemeni officials were in attendance at the event, including Mahdi al-Mashat, president of the Supreme Political Council. Answer Allah showcased missiles, drones, naval mines, in addition to snipers, anti-armor weaponry, and ammunition. This is a clear testimony of the Houthis' growing offensive capability. With more hardware and equipment being delivered by Iran, the recent push and the air raids on various infrastructure targets in Saudi Arabia are not at all surprising. Iran itself, under constant accusations of aggression by Israel, had one of its merchant vessels rocked by an explosion. The ship, named Shahar-e-Kord, was sailing near Syria's coast when a blast took place on its deck. Neither Damascus nor Tehran have commented, but many observers speculated that Israel had carried out the attack. The accusations by third parties against Israel are entirely justified, as U.S. officials revealed that Tel Aviv's intelligence agency allegedly had been carrying out regular sabotage operations on Iranian tankers. According to the Wall Street Journal, Israel had taken it one step further than the U.S. and isn't imposing sanctions, but rather being more assertive. As per the cited U.S. officials, Israel has targeted at least a dozen vessels bound for Syria, mostly carrying Iranian oil, out of concern that petroleum profits are funding extremism in the Middle East. Iran has repeatedly said that it is a victim of such a subversive Israeli policy, starting from 2019 onwards. Israel is likely attempting to undermine the U.S. Biden administration's effort to rejoin and salvage the Iranian nuclear deal. This is surely no difficult feat due to Washington barely undertaking any concrete movements and its interests having been continually targeted in the Middle East. In a single day on March 11th, five American supply convoys were targeted in Iraq. A group calling itself the International Resistance targeted one of the convoys with an IED as it was passing through the city of Fallujah in Al Anbar province. A truck carrying an armored vehicle was directly hit. Media aligned with Iraq's Iran-aligned groups reported of four more attacks. Another one in the Al-Ambar province, in addition to one in the cities of Al-Samarwa, Hilia, and a fifth one on the Basra Nasiriya Highway. The situation appears to be on the path to escalating further, especially if Israel continues its subversive policy that the U.S. appears to silently endorse.